When it comes to basketball in the Pacific, it's not about who has the most. It's about pushing the limits with what you have. Life in PNG, um, well, it's home. I think for for everyone around the world can relate. Whether it's uh, you know a nice place to live in or not, this is where our culture is. This is where our family is. Uh, this is where you know we all grow up. It's a tough world out there, and uh, you know for anyone in Papua New Guinea, yeah, you know that living uh, expenses here is far beyond uh, what it is to to maybe Australia or, or even the other Pacific countries. Once we're driving in. in to Port Moresby, just at the traffic lights, you'll see them, you know, some begging for money, they're just there to survive, they're, they're there to, you know, live by the day, you know, whatever tomorrow brings to them, they'll worry about that tomorrow. They don't have everything, they don't have all the things that we sort of just take for granted, but it doesn't mean they're any less happy, they just sort of go day to day just making the most of everything like it's very family orientated everyone's your brother everyone's your sister everyone's so happy here when i do come back to to port moresby i like to get out to the village and you know i'm here with my auntie and coming to see the family and the relatives is, is very important to me people are very excited that i'm here they've shared my journey with me um, it's nice to feel um, that i'm still part of png uh, and, and I feel like, you know, whenever someone does make it, that you've got the whole country supporting you. Um, and, and that's really, uh, really special. Like basketball, it really... Basketball really helped me to be someone who I am now. I got the uh, in, I dropped I was I dropped out of school in grade year eighty. And that's where my dad started pushing me to play basketball. In the actual game, like you play for a country, like you have everyone behind you. And like you feel you have something you have a weight to carry and and you have to play for someone that that's for your people and your country. Hardest challenges. Life, because I, it's the hardest thing is like I'm not, I'm not schooling, I'm not working, and basketball is the only thing I have. And now basketball is giving me it's bread and butter. And that's the hardest part in life. Just living in basketball. To me, it's safe because I live with them. They're my people, and they look up on me. Seven days time, we're playing for a gold medal. We've been training for months and months to get to this point. Uh, physically, everyone's in fantastic shape. You guys have been working really hard on your bodies, getting yourself where you need to be. But 
all that work has got you to now, all right? And all I'm asking for is seven days out of your life where every time that we come together, you don't quit. And to me, this hill is a reflection of the challenges that we're gonna have over the next seven days, all right? If you can get up and down this thing twice, all right, shows me that you're ready. Shows me that we're ready. If you take care of what you need to do as an individual to make us better every day, at the end of this journey, you'll be getting a gold medal around your head as Melanesian champions, which would be something very, very special that hasn't been achieved by Papua New Guinea basketball before. Enjoy the journey. Have some fun. Let's get up. All right. Let's go. Let's go. If I beat anybody up and back, you're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> focus was power on like plyometrics training, teaching them how to jump bigger, faster. They're on the last week right now and this program it sort of challenged them a little bit in terms of core strength and now stability, ankle, knees, hips and sort of messes with the mind at the end so I guess it's really good to get them sort of fatigued and work under the fatigue. I like to bring a fun atmosphere that's disciplined, but you know, an atmosphere that they enjoy playing the game. You know, I don't want them to ever feel like the game is, you know, a drag. I want it to feel for them that passion and that love as I as I feel as a coach. And I think, you know, that's starting to, to rub off on the guys and hard work, hard work definitely brings the rewards and you know we're we're combining that hard work in a fun environment and it's, uh, the results are pleasing. When I first come in, my, my coaching philosophy was a drill sergeant, and that didn't work. Um, you know, while I brought discipline with that, you know, the players didn't really react to a guy that just yelled and yelled and yelled. And I found different ways to adapt my coaching to to the playing group. And I think, you know, we started to build something special from 2013 Pacific Championships to 2015 Pacific Games. The guys know what I expect that when they step on the floor they work as hard as they can there is no days off there is no you know sessions off there is no drills off you know you have to get better each and every time um, and our whole our whole mentality is as individuals do what you do that make us better so every day improve yourself as an individual that's going to make us better as a as a team and guys have done that we control our destiny I think it's not about the other teams, it's about us and what we do. We're geared for a 40 minute grind, our players are
fit, they're agile, they're athletic, um, they're ready to play. Everybody want to have a chance, but the lucky ones who chosen to just a big team, yeah. trying to best, pay our best, all of our, pour our hearts out and give our best. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to bring out some different style of playing. Let us head on a bit what a coach taught me. Just let us play my part and let's try to do my best. We play aggressive, like uh, this run, run. And the style of our game is like speed and intense, but some of you lose control and then forget about that. Patience, and controlling the game, tempo of the game. It's, our style of playing is like this run, speed, show strength, speed. We give credit to back our country and family, responses, and make our country proud. For the first time, I think we're going to win the gold. Yeah. Life's about opportunity. Right? You create opportunity for yourself. And then when opportunities come along, you take advantage of it, you make the most of it. Um, you guys have created an opportunity for yourselves to be represented. You've earned the right to represent your country. And that's, that's a special honor, that's a privilege. It's, it's about, you know, creating memories here that you're going to have for the rest of your life. Nothing is, is going to be given to you. Right? Nothing's going to be given to you. Solly, Fiji, New Cali, none of them are going to back down and say, hey, PNG, here's, here's a gold medal, take it, it's yours. You, know, you have to go earn it. And like anything in life that's worth anything, you have to go earn it. You, know, you have to go earn it. And I'm excited about that. I think the work that we've put in so far over the last three months, the work we've put in, some of us, four years being together, has got us to this point. And I, without a doubt, I believe this is the best team that we've got and we're in the best shape, best preparation that we've ever had. Like there, there's no other, you know, in regards to my time, there's been no other instance where we've had what we've had. You're not going to be able to run with us over 40 minutes. Almost. There's no chance. You know, this is our environment. Teams are out here dying in the heat. That's what we, we live in that shit. That's our lives. So that's nothing that the, 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 the venue and the, the climate is nothing new for us. That's just normal basketball. Don't let the moment overwhelm you. All right? Take it in, enjoy it, but play with fun, play with flair, play with passion. You know? Go out there and play that style of basketball that we love to do. I love to coach that way, you guys love to play. To Cornelius for number three for PNG, he'll drive left. And he scores his first baskets. And that's a that's a big smile there by Joe Carlo. gentlemen final score Pepsi PNG 79 defeating Solomon Islands 35 yeah look obviously a uh, good start um, bit of a grind early on but um, you know defensively really happy to keep a team under 40 uh, doesn't happen too much in international play so one down two to go get three to go get we'll go get it done I think uh, we played a uh, really good defense at the end, um, Coach, Coach John has been just drilling us about defense all the, all the way. Kept the solo, Solomon Islands team at 37, which is a good job. Couple of uh, lapses there in our offense, but hopefully we come out tomorrow 
just run through them and then get back again. Very good to get the first win. I was a bit nervous. Had a couple of misses at the beginning, but uh, once I found the room, <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Tarama Aquatic Indoor Center. This is the last game of day two. Papua New Guinea taking on New Caledonia in what should be a ripper of a game. Pepsi PNG men with the victory 87 80 against New Caledonia. We'll learn from it. They're going to come get back better. We'll take care of golf tomorrow on this beach. All right. A lot of us are going to lose. We crossed New Cali off the lake. See how we beat there. Thirty-four points. Man, it's, it's never one of those nights where it'll last in my lifetime forever. Yeah. I feel like it's it's sort of like I can't really express what happened yesterday, man. It was an awesome feeling, man. He plays second fiddle to them in the, like them and New Cali, especially in the as Melanesians, you know, they look up to themselves like, yeah. But now the big brothers are taking the place, rightfully, taking the place. This is 
Kurari Muri of PNG. Now I've got to note that the players on the court represent one club here in Port Mosby for PNG. The name of the club is KSS Flames. They're current, they're current uh, PNG club champions. They recently went to Solomon Islands for a couple of games there. And they're definitely playing the KSS Flames basketball here. Maybe it don't happen in a lifetime, man. Having the same five guys in a team playing at the same time, you know? Like, we played together as a team. And like brothers, we believed in ourselves. We had a trust. Like, whoever, the five were on the court, I think we had like, trust among ourselves. And I think we executed well. Our set plays here. Massive win by PNG. 83-49, the crowd like it, Pepsi PNG like it, and that is the ball game. PNG men undefeated. I think Mari played really well up here. When Charlie got on the court, defended really well. Good closeouts, but overall as a team, I think we did pretty well on our defensive end. Yeah, even the Fiji were bigger than us. All of us put our body on the line for a country and I think we should play that way if we want to stay up there, you know, and beat New Cali. The key for us is sticking to our game plan, do what we've been doing for the last four days, nothing changes, just keep at it, keep at it, and listen to what the coach says, and we surely we'll win, we'll, we'll match them. Find him as quick as you can. <laughs> I'll just text me. Text me. Text me. <laughs> and then I'll think about it. 50. Courtesy oh. of Rachel. Give Rachel away because she put victim today. So. Woo! Thanks, coach! Right. Never went past round one like all the other days. <laughs>
you can just do a really good job and make him have to shoot jump shots instead of layups, all right? Over four quarters, over four quarter grind, 40 minutes, all right, we're gonna be in a really good position. Okay, we're gonna be in a really good position. You just have to make that commitment to the defensive end of the floor and have as the minimal amount of lapses as possible, okay? Just can't have breakdowns tonight because this, be, this could very well be a game that comes down to one or two possessions. Take care of that defensively and rebounding. There's going to be a good crowd there tonight to get behind you offensively. We just run, all right? We run, and we run for 40 minutes right from quarter one, all right? We put pressure on them, have to make subs, a lot of subs, and make them get tired, right? Same, same as the way you've been playing. You've done an outstanding job here over the first three games. You've done an outstanding job. Can we get better? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. There's still a lot of things that we can do better, you know, that we could beat Fiji by 50. We could have beat these guys by 30. You know, like, there's things that we can do better. You know, that's what's scary if we ever, you know, let's, let's focus on tonight, putting together 40 minutes of hoops. Right. At one time that we do that, you know, it's, it's going to be fun to watch, it's going to be fun to play, it's going to be fun to be a part of. Stick to the game plan. All right, stick to the game plan. You've done a really, a really outstanding job of playing team basketball over the last three days. All right, it's been a collective group of all 12 of your effort that's got you wins. I don't need heroes tonight. I don't need it. I just need you to step up and do your job that you've been doing well. When I call your number off the bench, step in. We can't go backwards. All right, it's got to be defensive pressure. Play with confidence, play loose, all right? Our energy and our intensity is always the same, no matter who we play, when we play. These are the moments you train hard for. These are the moments you play in these kind of games, all right? That's what you need to put, you put in the work for. Do we deserve it? Absolutely, without a doubt. I have no doubt that we've worked harder than any other team here, all right? I tell you, ain't no one getting up and doing 6 a.m. practices twice a week, getting up at 5 a.m., going to the gym, twice a week, you guys playing three or four more games, training, all that stuff. No one else has done it. So you deserve it, absolutely. But you've got to go make it happen. So here we go. The gold medal match, the main match. Inaugural 2017 FIBA Melanesia Basketball Cup is underway. Proudly presented to you by Paradise Beverages. 100% PNG owned, has PNG in the yellow. Are in control. Win the tip off. Martin Lay strong to the basket. Gets the first points for PNG. Spin left, blocked, Farmer. Under 30, right? 
the rotation down of that scramble stuff are pretty good. Just make them better. Right? Fellas, have composure when you're finishing around the rim. Right? You're getting great position, but then you're throwing up horse shit. They're not gonna fucking block ya. Feet set, shot face, get foul. Right? Don't just throw it up and hope. Hope it goes in. We need to finish layup. Don't make it any single contest. Make it dead 12 against half the ball. We'll beat them every day of the week. Right? Got them on the ropes. When you come out now, you can't give them a snip. They can't go bang bang. Six point, five point. You gotta get stop, score. Stop, score. Build pressure, I told ya. It wasn't gonna be done. Third, second, third quarter. Knocking out in the fourth. Right? 40 minute game. Right? But you're right there. This first three minutes is critical. Right? Here we go. Here we go. Right? Together. Here we go. Right? Skip pass to Martin, try a three, that's good, three points, doesn't go, Weber's there to clean up but he doesn't handle it, down the court to Apia, Joanne heavy foul, and shots good. Stolen by Apico to Kave. Bounce pass Martin. And left hand lay. Is Lehi fake? Step back three. Short. Apico rebound. Back up. Back to Murray. Back to Farmer. Baseline. To Murray. Fake. Lehi. He's got it back on the baseline. Back to Liam. Inside to Farmer. Three pointer is good. Aha. Doesn't fall. Rebound Ferrari. Quickly up. Here's Dia Murray. He'll slow it down. And he does to Ferrari. And easy layup. Remaining third quarter. Up here. Back to Ferrari. Connie to Dia. Back to Pony. Back to Purari. He'll try a three. Yes! On him. Here's Paul quickly up. And Steven is just running in. Can't fall. Liam quickly up the court. Here's Martin. Back to Liam. Fake three. Up here down the lane makes it inside to cover cover yes drive in cover's got to shoot this oh robert cover Leahy, Leahy, Kave, three points, yes, under a minute to go, get the last shot, Journal, his career, Joanne, last shot, doesn't go, congratulations Papua New Guinea, winners of the first ever inaugural 2017 FIBA Melanesia Basketball Cup. This dear Murray, the captain number 12. Oh, this is
I am lost for words and two things have come across my mind. One, getting the team to be at that, uh, you know, being the champions of uh, the Melanesian zone, winning the first ever gold medal uh, is a very, very great achievement and I'm so proud of that because it has happened during my time as a president. And uh, with due respect to those that have come and gone, have tried their best, well, it's my, it's my time, it's my show now, so I'm happy, I'm more than happy uh, for the boys and girls achieving these uh, results. The future is definitely bright, we're excited because when I uh, did the assessment of the age group, um, nearly three quarters of the team, current team, uh, will have an average of about 22. So leading to the 2019 games, I think these boys have maybe three at least more passionate games that I can play. In other words, 12 years is, is, is a good uh, number of years that we can uh, look, look at uh, developing our players. This trophy here, that is a pride of PNG. When uh, you have your heart at the right place, seeing this colored in, uh, let's say, red, black and gold, that's what Papua New Guinea once they, they, we are proud people. We'd like to be, you know, number one in the Pacific. And I think uh, winning not only one but two, both men and women, uh, that gives us confidence that uh, all is not lost. And I think we've uh, we've come of age. We, we'd like to maintain this and be consistent in our performance with the Malaysian Cup and also adding on to the uh, Pacific Games in the years to come. Now. You know, there's been a shift in Pacific basketball. Um, you know, Papua New Guinea is no longer the easy beats, no longer the team that um, other countries just tick off. Uh, we're now legitimate, we're contenders in the Pacific and, you know, this is the result. This changes everything and the next step is the Pacific Games in 2019 and hopefully finishing that tournament similar medal around our necks.